Every American knows the image of George Washington crossing the Delaware, the fallen riflemen at Little Round Top, the Marines raising the flag at Iwo Jima. Our history is, is punctuated with moments of individual heroism and virtue and sacrifice so profound and moving that they live forever in the hearts of our countrymen and in the story of our country. To these iconic images, history has added another, that of a young Marine sergeant in full combat gear, cradling a helpless infant in her arms amidst the unfolding chaos at the besieged Kabul airport and proclaiming, I love my job. The entire war of Afghanistan is told in that image. The sacrifices borne by young Americans who volunteered to protect their country from international terrorism, the heroism of those who served their country even when their country failed them, the idealism of a generation that tried to bring enlightened modernity to an afflicted society, and most of all, it tells the tale of the stark contrast between good and evil, tyranny and freedom, barbarity and justice, brutality and mercy. Above all others, it is that picture that tells the story, and it's given power and immortality by the spirit of the young woman in that photo who we come here today to honor, mourn, and eulogize, Marine Sergeant Nicole G. Throughout the ages to come, that image will speak of the sacrifice of blood and treasure of 20 years of struggle and of the vision of hope, liberty, justice, and humanity that summoned patriots like Nicole G to leave their homes and families and place themselves in harm's way on the other side of the world. As Shakespeare put it, this story shall the good man teach his son. Historians looking back on this age will find its story summarized in that single image and illustrated in the life and dreams and ultimate sacrifice of Nicole G. They will note that her life ended just days after it was taken, at the age of just 23 years. They will remember that this angelic young lady was cut down with 12 of her brothers and sisters by incarnate, insensate evil. And they will ponder where that young life might have led. And that's an important question. The answer is known to so many here today who knew her. She could have done anything she wanted. Married to her high school sweetheart, a 4.1 GPA at Oakland High School, one pretty badass Marine, as her sister put it, she could have done anything she wanted. And what she wanted most to do was to serve her country and to serve humanity. Who else but an angel, a, a guardian angel, amidst the chaos and violence of those last days in Kabul, could look beyond that into the eyes of a little infant she was protecting and proclaim, I love my job. Speaking of the fallen heroes of past wars, Jim, James Michener asked the haunting question, where do we get such men? Well, we know. We get such men and women from little towns across America like Roseville, California. They leave their family and friends in pursuit of the highest virtues in, of which human beings are capable. And they do it because their country asks them and because it is noble. I don't know how to offer condolences to Nicole's family, to her husband, Jared, to her father, Rick, her sister, Misty, to her many family and friends, the loss they bear is beyond my comprehension. I can only offer, on behalf of us all, 
our awe and gratitude that humanity has within itself a small band of brothers and sisters like Nicole G. For without them, America, that last best hope of mankind on this earth, would not be possible. In the Capitol Rotunda is a fresco called the Apotheosis of Washington. It depicts General Washington in uniform ascending to the heavens, flanked by victory and freedom, and surrounded by the essence and fruits of a free nation. And in that depiction, Washington beckons. And from little towns like Roseville, California, decent young men and women with promising futures like Nicole G. have answered. And I don't know how their families can bear it, but I do know what we owe them. Before her father left the stage last week at the community memorial, he had one request. He pleaded, never forget her. Please never forget her. But we can never repay our debt except to honor her memory, keep her sacrifice always in mind, and to draw inspiration from her dedication and devotion to God and country, to she and all of those who gave up everything to proclaim liberty throughout all the land and unto all the inhabitants thereof.